Now, a lot of people are wondering when is the merge going to happen? And so far, it does look like we are looking at September 15th at 12.09 a.m. CDT, which is Central Daylight Time, which is the same time as CST. So this is, you know, based on my time zone. Wanted to get that out there. Of course, that will be like 1 a.m. Eastern Time. We will be monitoring this closely. We will have a live stream uh, that will be, uh, we will be live during the merge. So if you guys want to come and do a merge uh, watch party with me, I'd be happy to hang out with you guys uh, while that merge watch party goes on. I don't know if that's going to be on Twitch or YouTube. In fact, we'll do a poll over here. Should the merge watch party be on basically YouTube or Twitch? You guys let me know. Let me create a poll. There we go. Get a poll going out, but we will be doing that. So that's kind of just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of kind of the timeline. Um, right now, I think it is obviously seven. Se so, sorry, sorry, September thirteenth, right? So um, it should be sometime tomorrow night is when we'll start the uh, start it and go from there. Um, I have not moved off of Ethereum. I've been sick. Um, so we'll probably be moving off of the off of Ethereum during the live stream uh, for the Ethereum merge watch party, which should be a ton of fun. Maybe we can get some other content creators in. Probably not, though. I don't, you know, I go and hang out with them when they ask me to. I don't necessarily have, uh, have connections. But, you know, if any of y'all are out there want to stop in, just let me know. Um, as far as that is concerned... Now, as part of the merge, we also have ETHW coming. Now, right now, obviously, you don't want to be participating in ETHW because there wasn't really any ETHW like chain available. But that chain is looking like it's going to be available. Why is that? Well, ETHW has released its full node data. You can download it and get it up and running and basically run a node for the ETHW. I will say I really like the logo. You know, I will say I like the logo. I think the logo looks, you know, dope. I think it's pretty cool. Um, that being said, you know, be careful here. What you got in charge are, you know, Justin Sun and Chandler Go. They're not necessarily the people that I would trust with something like this but you know there are going to be here's the deal there's going to be a lot of people trying to make a lot of money off of this what do i mean by that we talked about this before moving your ethereum into metamask getting the drop of the ETHW when it drops during the merge on the 15th this is part of what we're going to be paying attention to and watching as well because when that happens you know, we are going to be able to connect to the ETH proof of work chain and, you know, gather all of our ETH that we have on both networks. What does this mean? This means that there is a potential for you as a miner to capitalize on this as well. Once again, do I support the chain? No. But I am going to point out the clearly obvious to me, which is if there's a ton of people trying to re re redeem the ETHW token, on that network, what do they need to facilitate those transactions? They need miners. What do miners get paid in return? Well, you'll get the two reward per block and you'll get all the fees that are going on to it. Even if it's a quick pump and dump, if you do a quick pump and mine, or mine and dump, there's that potential. Not financial advice, just a clear opportunity, short-term opportunity that I see that I want you to be aware of, okay? Are there currently any pools for it? No, it will have to happen afterwards. So what's the only way you'll be able to mine it on the launch? Building a node. Where can you get the information for building a node? In this tweet right here on this specific GitHub, okay? This is where you can build it. What are you going to have to do to implement to mine that? Well, you're going to have to go and figure out Geth or, you know, another option. So another thing that's going to be stressful about this, this, uh, this is going to require a lot a fast CPU, 16 gigs of Ram, two terabytes of space, 25 megabits a second of bandwidth. This is going to be 
a pretty demanding node because it is Ethereum, okay? Um, I am going to get with a couple guys and see if we can get a potential pool sp spun up. Um, just a temporary pool. I don't know if I have the time. I've been super sick. I do want to, though. It is something that I want to do. I'm hoping maybe Chadwick or somebody works with me. At least it would be kind of fun to have it up and kind of do that. Um, but we're also running out of time, you know. So I'm at least going to try to get the node up and figure out how this works and so on. Uh, and then potentially, you know, maybe give you guys an option to mine it. But we'll have to see what happens. Um, we'll at least be monitoring it tomorrow evening and letting you guys know where you can mine it, how you can mine it. Right now, your best bet, though, is to build your own. And then you'll have to build the interface to actually mine it tomorrow. And then you'll have to get it connected tomorrow. This is where, like, to be completely frank, if you have the technical capability, you can make a lot of money here. Once again... Not financial advice, definitely not thinking that like ETHW is going to be something, but because of the nature of how this launch is happening, what people are trying to do, if you have the technical capability to spin up the node and be able to mine it on the day that this happens, you have some money making potential the day of, okay? Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.